Welcome to Temple of Geeks Rundown of This Week in Geek. I'm Aaron Powell and this is This Week in Geek. So Pixar's newest film, Luca, is released on Disney+. Plus. I watched it. It is a fantastic movie. Pixar should just honestly change their name to We Dare You Not to Cry at this film. Uh, it is a coming-of-age story about two guys who are actually sea monsters who end up living on the Riviera of Italy. It is a beautiful movie. Great script, great voice acting. It's hilarious. It is heart-wrenching and it's finally a time for Disney and Pixar to show a movie towards boys so if you have sons this is a perfect thing to do if you're still on that Father's Day high watch this movie it is an amazing film you guys will love it it is great for all the members of the family it'll teach you all about friendship and everything that comes with that and you'll learn a little bit about Italian culture as well besides some of the stereotypical things which can be a little bit problematic but it's still a great film. You guys can totally check that out. We're all watching Loki, right? So Disney Plus also once again hitting it up with another MCU series, this time with Loki. We're two episodes deep and the internet is filled with a lot of theories. I don't particularly subscribe to the theories. I just want to enjoy a good show, but a lot of people are looking at Lady Loki as if she might be somebody else. Another character you might know as Enchantress. This could be the possibility of where they're going with this. I personally don't think so, but we're here to watch out. I'm here for it. I'm loving this series so far. I love the mystery vibe to it. I want to see how far that they go with this and see where they go next and where this takes us further into the MCU. For all you comic book fans out there, the Ninja Turtles have done it yet again. This IDW series, the newest issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, is almost upon us and we're seeing exactly how the future of the Ninja Turtles have gone. For people like me, fans like myself who've grown up with the Ninja Turtles, who've seen them become adults, you know, they're not teenagers anymore. I've seen them actually come, become adults and to see how they've changed from those partying dudes that we've known to now we have the storyline is a little darker in tone back to the original Mirage series where the, where the turtles are getting picked off one by one in this last hurrah against the Shredder's grandson. It is an amazing series. Head on down to your local comic book shop to check this out. Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin. Also check out the flagship Ninja Turtles series on IDW. It is phenomenal. It is greatly written. The art is awesome. Every here and there the original creators Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird will join in in the art and the storytelling as well so there's a bonus for that. 37 years later the same creators of the Ninja Turtles are still heavily involved with the series. I cannot say enough good things about this. Also, coming soon, we got the countdown to the newest Fast and the Furious movie, F9. Now, for those of you wondering, hey, why is this something about geeky? Well, if you love live action cartoons, Fast and the Furious series is just for you. For the longest time, people have been taking these movies way too seriously. I'm not one of those people. If you guys want to watch some fast cars going around doing some impossible things, if you love cartoons and you love action films, Fast 9 might be right up your alley. And if you're a casual wrestling fan, John Cena is making his appearance in the newest Fast and the Furious film as well. That should be hitting theaters and hopefully streaming devices for those of you who like me who want to stay home and watch films. June 25th, so we got another week left waiting for the Fast 9. Those of you may have already seen the premiere at Universal here in Los Angeles. Premiere went off without a hitch. It sounded like a lot of fun, so I'm all for it. I'm here for it. I'm with it. And you know what? It's been a pretty slow week when it comes to geeky news, so that's going to be it for me. If you guys want to see more from us at Temple of Geek, head on over to templeofgeek.com. Check out any of our shows. You might even hear my handsome, melodious voice as the host of the Temple of Geek podcast. Once again, my name is Aaron this has been your week in geek.